if you just started going to the gym or you've been in the gym for a while either way you should watch this video so i've been working out for a while i've always been active from i feel like since i want to say like i was like six i've just, I just been doing push-ups and whatnot um my uncle he was into the gym and he used to like you know babysit us for whatever reason so he used to come over with i think it was like 75 pound steel dumbbells he used to just pull up with that and just do his workouts at our house while he was watching us multitasking right and he always used to just try to get us to work out so we started with uh sit-ups sit-ups and push-ups so the sit-ups I, I don't think i was able to do them at the time or whatever so i literally stuck my my feet under my couch as like leverage push-ups we always used to rock out with those and then from, from then on i guess from then on i just picked it up and i just never really dropped it if you know me i've been like you know physically fit since like forever so working out for that long right you start to forget about mass you, f you start to forget about the things that you know everybody wants because you've been there for years at a time you feel me so you start to come up with principles you start to come up with rules like right now i don't really work out for mass per se i work out for you know the health of working out as dumb as that sounds so like the shit that nobody really thinks about. I think about mobility, you know, being able to be flexible and move in a certain way, stretch out those ligaments because I don't want to be like 60 and not be able to touch my toes pose or uh, not be able to, you know, just like pick something up because I can't even go that low. Like mobility, I want to feel young. I don't want to just look young. I want to feel young too. I worry about heart rate. I worry about just all the things that people don't really think about. I worry about body fat percentage. You know, I just don't want to get big, but the main thing I worry about now is mobility. I just want to have my muscles loose. I want to have my uh, ligaments, tendons, and everything being able to like, you just, you know, just move as need be. Like I said, just working out for that long and being fit and that for like that period of time, like being fit for a very, very long time, you just start to come up with principles, you know, like you, you can pull up to me with how you want to look and I can get you there. Mind you, it has to be realistic. Mind you, your body type, like let's say if your your uh, shoulder width, right, uh, is very, very small and you want to look like, um, I don't even know who, but like you just want to have like kind of like that V taper, there's a capacity on what you can do that like that there's a limit on that because although you can get wide you can't really get that wide like your shoulders and your muscles you're gonna have to just like grow it to a, a serious extent but there's a limit on it so what I'm, what I'm saying right now you have to be very intentional you have to be re very realistic but I can get you to where you need to go that's like advanced like PT you feel me I can literally get you where you want to go so like I keep saying, being fit for a very long time, you start to come up with like rules and you start to come up with principles. And I don't even know, like a lot of people, always, a lot of people always ask me, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? I be in the gym and they ask me, how do you do this? How do you do that? Uh, I don't really correct people. I just let them do the wrong thing, to be honest with you, because it's none of my concern. But like, if I fuck with you and or or I see you really working hard. I, I spend my two cents at you. This is what I'm trying to say. So working out for that long, I basically came up with like, you know, the, the pillars of like the gym, the pillars of working out. So I may add to this, but like, these are like the commandments. You feel me? These are, these are the things that you need to know or that you should know if you're starting out and if you basically if you're if you've been in the gym if you've been in the gym for a, a good amount of time and you don't know these things you're doing something dramatically wrong you're just going to the gym and wasting your time to be honest with you you're just lifting up heavy things like i i don't know sometimes when i go to the gym i see people doing just like very very heavy weight and i'm just like yo my workout is 10 times better than yours like you're just literally putting up 
heavy ass weight just so just to look nice just to look big just to feel big but you're literally doing nothing for yourself like you're constricting your body because let's say like a bicep a bicep curl right a bicep curl if you're not going for the full range of motion you're going to get stuck and when i say stuck it's just like your muscles are just going to tighten and stay in that way you want to fully go down and go up you want to fully go down and go up if you're working out like that for like a year or so like your arm is going to lose mobility like that's the type of stuff that i'm talking about so look pillars of the gym so the first pillar is if you want to gain weight you have to be in a calorie surplus you know obviously a high protein like the everybody has a threshold on which your body needs to you know stay the same not gain weight or not lose weight you need to find that equilibrium right and if you want to gain weight you have to eat more than that and specifically obviously if you if you want to gain weight you don't want to be fat uh you want to gain muscle so it has to be mostly all protein now obviously like play with the macros and all of that but high protein if you want to lose weight on the flip if you want to lose weight you need to be in a calorie deficit so that threshold that i just told you about you need to be under that obviously high protein again because you don't want to lose the muscle because if you're in a calorie deficit the fat also goes with the muscle but to prevent the muscle from going too you gotta have a lot of protein so the second pillar is you have muscles all over your body right so what is a workout just think about it that bicep curl that i just talked about you're working out the bicep what is a workout a workout is anything that contracts is anything that contracts and releases you feel me like any a workout is your muscle contracting and releasing anything that you do that is contracting and releasing is basically you're, you're using the muscles intentional contracting and releasing with weight attached to it so do whatever workout or do whatever action that you have to do to contract or, or release the muscle so that's a, this, this is the second pillar so this is the second pillar do whatever action you have to do to contract and release that muscle so whatever action that you have to do to contract and release the muscle do that you might be like yo what is he talking about so look a bicep curl that's contracting when you're going up that's contracting when you're going down that's releasing you feel me that's very intentional and there's muscles all over your body you feel me like your heart is a muscle how do you contract and release those muscles in your heart what is the function of the heart you have to activate that function so the heart pumps blood physical trainers right they, they always have these funky workouts you feel me if you hire if you ever hired a physical trainer like they always have a creative funky workout that that they made themselves because they understand this principle they know how to contract and release literally every muscle and do you have to just be smart and just think about it like your lats what does the lat do it basically pulls your elbow straight back that's the main function of the lat so any motion that pulls your elbow back or maybe like down is is a lot workout so now you have to be creative yo what what can i do how can i isolate that you know um like for the females out there every female go to the gym and they basically want bigger glutes and all that whole shebang right just be just be very intentional about it like literally what you have to do is literally feel those muscles right literally put your fingers on the muscle and find out what motion gets you that best contraction so like like let's say my shoulders right let's say my shoulders yeah i really can't see it but i know i activate my shoulders with this with this motion with my hand straight up right my hand straight up my hand like out wide you know i could turn it like this like what workout or what motion gets me the best contraction and that's how you have to think about it that's the second principle do whatever motion that you have to do that gets you the best contraction so that's that's the second pillar the third pillar the third pillar is heavy weights low reps to increase muscle size right and like eat each muscle right like each like muscle group is made up of just strands let's say if you have four strands right you can get each of the four strands 
you can get each of the four strands strands you can get those larger right by heavy weights and low rep each of those muscles so you're not growing like you're not duplicating any of those muscles each of those muscle strands are going to get thicker that's what's happening when you're lifting heavy weights and low reps those are basically my three principles those are the the, the three pillars of you know the gyms those are the main things that people always 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 seem to miss want to ask yeah th those are the three pillars